Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm David in Arc. Today we are taking a look at a new uh, scenario mod from Gamer Gall. It is called Asphalt and Dirt, and I have to say this is pretty freaking cool. Uh, you actually have to uh, choose two vehicles, and uh, the first vehicle drives on asphalt, and the second one will finish the second leg of the race on dirt, and there's a really cool interchange between the two. Very cool stuff. So I am going to select a vehicle here. Um, Let's go for the Montez. Why not? We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Probably not very well, but we're going to try it anyway. There we go. Ooh, that car is loud. And then I can click the vehicle number two button there at the top, and we can change this to a different vehicle. So uh, I say we take out the Sunburst Rally, and we just go to town. So here we go. We're going to start this bad boy up here. Three, two, one, and we're out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I have no idea if uh, I can even handle this car on this road. Um, I probably shouldn't have started with this car because, nah, well, okay, there you go. <laughs> I had no idea where anything's going, so there you go. All right, here we go. Uh, this is actually, uh, the next couple of clips are my um, successful runs, and these are my top finishes. So, uh, spoiler alert, the next few clips I actually get to the end. So, there you go. <laughs> As you can see, I am using, whoa, the, um, whoops, track version. Um, is that what this is? Is this the track? I think so of the uh, sunburst. I decided to pair up the two sunbursts. I, I don't know, I just, I seem to be able to control the sunburst pretty well uh, after doing some multiple attempts. Later in this video, uh, I'll play some, uh, just some random crash clip compilation uh, with some music behind it for your enjoyment. In the meantime, whoa, uh, that corner, oh, look there, my car stalled. Uh, the downside to this vehicle but uh, anyhow here we go as we cruise in now this first purple marker is where you actually do the handoff between the two cars so you can see uh, your car goes flying out around the corner when you switch off the vehicles that is so satisfying oops oh nearly got stuck in the ditch but uh, no I make it out do a little weird jog there here we go, head on down the dirt trail. Now, I will tell you that uh, because these, this clip and the ones that uh, follow immediately, they are in the order of my worst finish to best finish. So you can see uh, <laughs> that I <clears throat> have a little bit of a problem. But I managed to land upright, and so I decide to just continue on. My thinking here was, and if I'm if I'm not mistaken, this was actually my first um, completed run, and I thought, you know what, if if I'm able to slip, slide, and roll my way across the finish line, then why not? Let's just at least do it. The blue column that you see there is the actual finish, and so we head on down here. And we see that the time on this run, 2.14.72. Alright, here we go. Same car. Back in the Sunburst. Street Edition or Street Rally or whatever this thing is called. And I'm uh, going to try to do a better run than we did the last time. And this is my fourth worst run of the completed runs. Now, I had lots of very bad runs. Let's not kid ourselves. But <laughs> but, but I picked the top four finishes. Uh, oh, wow. I'm actually surprised I made that stop there. 
One of the things that I really, really like about this scenario, and, and frankly, a lot of Gamer Golf scenarios, is that uh, it includes some light traffic. So not only are you trying to... Okay, what am I doing here? Not only... Uh, the engine stalls again. Uh, not only are you trying to complete the run in the fastest possible time that you can, but you are also battling AI traffic as well. Oh, and as you can see, <laughs> once again, we launch our car around. Now, here's the downside. If you go screaming into that uh, retainer wall there, there's a chance that your first vehicle will bounce off the wall and actually um, block the rally car from uh, getting around easily. Now, um, I did this a whole bunch of times, and it wasn't that it blocked it completely, but there were several runs where I had to get the rally car to go out around the primary vehicle because it had bounced off the wall and just kind of gotten in the way. But as you can see here, we're doing okay. It's I'm not running anywhere near as flat out as I should be. Um, but I just, maintaining control is definitely one of my big problems. And I actually thought I was going to hit trees right there, but I managed to get through we are going to come along, skate here, come on, and ultimately end up with a time of, whoa, nice crash at the end, 2.08.21. So there we go. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm actually uh, back in this big old bad beast, and uh, I, I don't know, I, I thought maybe, just maybe, I might be able to uh, control this. I, I actually played with this car for a long time, um, just getting in some practice and, and figuring out where the bumps are, where the jostles are, trying to get the speed down, like in here, uh, when I needed to speed up, when I needed to slow down. I think I looked, actually took a little too much off there. Um, this car, when you slow down, it corners so just amazingly, frankly, that uh, it's actually a little disconcerting to try to drive because you don't expect it to turn. Uh, you know, you talk about a car that turns on a dime. Holy cow. So here we go, flying into... Whoa, I almost didn't even... <laughs> look at that. I almost didn't even make it, man. Uh, that would have been a real bummer. And then here you go. See, so you have AI messing with you there. Uh, you just you just don't know where the AI is going to show up. So between you having to make sure that you can handle the course and you having to dodge AI at certain points, um, this this combo track is a really, really cool scenario. I'll have a link to it down in the description, of course, but you guys can check that out. Once again, roly-poly and, well, we just keep on going. If I had not rolled at that point my score my time would have been for for me especially but my time would have been awesome had i not rolled right there and uh i just man i can't believe i actually a finished even after uh, that particular roll but the time here look at there 203 let me see, here we go. Yeah, 203.98. Had I not rolled, I probably would have been under two minutes. Oh, so close. <laughs> All right. This here happens to be the best run of uh, my time. Overall, I probably spent uh, about an hour, I think, um, driving and trying to uh, you know, practice and play and and keep improving and trying to set my personal best so in terms of my recording my my runs and what have you this is my personal best of the day here we go nice little slide there i really think uh <clears throat> the uh, montez i think if i keep practicing with the montez i can i can get that sub two minute mark and and probably pretty decently um I don't know, then again, you know, if you've seen me play, you know, there's a good chance that I'll never come close to that again. So, you know, there is that. But anyhow, 
and we slam into the wall, go tumbling down, crash out of the way as the sunburst comes into, whoops, as the rally sunburst anyway, comes into effect and get cruising here. Once again, I'm not being quite as aggressive as I really, really need to be. Now I go ahead and start to lay it down here, but I mean, I could, should, I should be going 75, 80. I don't know why I hit the brakes there. Ah, I just, I don't know. I have a problem with going fast. I don't know what my problem is, but in this game particularly, I just seem to outdo myself. And then of course we end up with an AI character right on the dirt path right in front of us, but we get around it okay. We don't lose too much. Uh, whoa, and my back end is fishtailing. But again, I managed to gain control. And uh, for those of you that don't know, I actually play with a keyboard and mouse. So that's definitely a handicap, I know. But there you go, 203.51. Awesome stuff. All right, so here are some crashes for you to enjoy. All right, this last clip here, I, I happened to run into my own car, and I think it's hilarious that he included a, a, a fail for that. That is hilarious. Oh, my gosh. Thanks to uh, Gamer Golf for putting that one out. Thank you so much for watching. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comments section below. Thanks to War Heroes Gaming, Gamer Golf, and Mr. Spooky7 for supporting me on Patreon. Remember to like, share, subscribe, all that stuff, and we'll see you next time on Beam NG Drive.